Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. And collectively we are the Office Blokes. Mm. And <laughs> what we're going to do today is tell you 10 weird facts about the Office Blokes. I can lick my elbow. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> There you go. Apparently that's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Anyway, it's weird. Uh, we've got a Patreon. I don't we <laughs> even know you can do that. That was just one way because people say it's impossible to lick your elbow, and then pioneers like me go, "Fuck that! That's not impossible." <laughs> pioneers. <laughs> don't say. It. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. So that's one weird yeah. fact about one office bloke. You let me down there, guys. Mm. You let me down. That's enough. Um, you let us down doing that, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you've let your mum down, you've let us down. <laughs> the country, you've let all the listeners down. I'd just like to apologise for my actions. Um don't know what it was. I'm a I'm an elbow licking addict. <laughs> all I'm gonna think about now all weekend is Dave can lick his elbow. Good. How did he even find out? Good. It's not what you'd be thinking about over the weekend, is it really? But yeah, yeah, yeah you do. Man. We've got a Patreon page. We have indeed. Go to patreon.com and put in off his blokes react. If you fancy supporting the channel, like loads of people have done already, which would be much appreciated, uh, go down and check it out. Yeah, good stuff. And two other channels that you need to go and look at. Mm. Yeah, if you go on uh Dave licks his elbow dot com <laughs> <laughs> You do you got on your OnlyFans page where you lick elbows. Other people's elbows, yeah. Yeah. Not mine. Wow. Well, it's quite it niche. I've not been on your, your OnlyFans fans page since I was a guest on it. I've got no fans. <laughs> you got no fans. you got no fans. <laughs> it's just only fan. <laughs> no, no. It's just only. That's all it is. It's just only. It's lonely. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, yeah, we've got Office Blokes Try where we try different things. And we've also, there's some really good stuff on there. We just, yeah. yesterday we did the uh, the jelly beans that taste like shit. Yep. Mm. And the hot ones. Spicy ones. Spicy yeah. ones, yeah. You two well, we did, the, uh, we did the what's it as well I was telling my son I picked him up from college yesterday I was driving home with him and I said oh we did the uh, challenge for the warheads the Star Awards he went no, yeah. nothing you should have tried uh, what did he call it um, uh, nuclear waste <laughs> I said well actual nuclear waste I'm not going to try that mate <laughs> like <laughs> superpowers but <laughs> <laughs> like elbow looking and <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I yeah and we got Office Blokes podcast Come on, what were you going to say, Dave? You I keep fucking interrupting me. I was just told gonna, you loads of times stop interrupting I, I me. I was just going to say, we'll do the he's one. He's in his flow. We'll do them. Stop interrupting him. We'll do we them don't interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Yeah, better odd. Ten weird facts about the UK. Ten weird facts about the UK. Weights and measures. Dep- I love that it's an American narrator. So do I, yeah. yeah. I'm, I think we might be picking up on one or two of these. Might be getting our I backs guess. up a bit. Like, how dare you say that yeah. about our country? <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Nothing gets my back up about things like this. The only thing that gets my back up is Mike. And people spitting on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not, not completing jobs they said they were going to. And where you grew up, in school you learned about either the imperial or metric form of measurement. While there's the occasional overlap in methods in our daily lives, in the UK, it appears that both methods are found literally everywhere. In the store, drinks on the same shelf can be found in pints and litres. Gasoline is sold by the litre, but consumption... I don't even know what gasoline sold by. I just fill me fill it up when it gets empty. <laughs> it's, it's, by, it's by the litre, but what I'm thinking is, where have you ever seen a pint on a shelf? Pint of milk. Oh, yeah. I'm, I was only thinking of the beer aisle. That's where that's thrown me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, pint mm-hmm. of milk, litre of vodka or whatever. Yeah, I've never actually say pint on the yeah. on the bottle. Yeah. I've never even noticed these days. So there's like one pint, two pints. Yeah, it does, yeah. No, you're right mm-hmm. on that one. Yeah. It is measured by the gallon. Food at the store, recipes for cooking, and measurements for various sports are all over the place. Word pronunciation. Okay, it is true. Much of the world got its language from the British. That said, while we are sure they can make fun of the way we say certain words, the UK also has some pretty weird ways of saying everyday words. Name like Leicester and Worcestershire can cause tourist problems because they aren't pronounced anything like how they look. Other words can be just as weird. For example, vitamins is pronounced vitamins, privacy is pronounced privacy, and garage is pronounced garage. Ugh, marmite. <laughs> I like how it's already. I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the Mickey out of us for saying things the wrong way, but you say things wrong too. It's our fucking language. We say what we like. Aluminum. <laughs> Aluminum. <laughs> yeah. Aluminium. You couldn't have a discussion about the weird things of the UK without bringing up Marmite. This food is a dark paste made from yeast extract, which people either love or hate. Created in the 19th century, versions of this bread can be found throughout the world. What was that? Go that, back. That, Go that, back. that was not a pile of Marmite. It looked What's like that? a pile of shit. What's that? <laughs> no, it looks like, like a... 
Peanut Ooh, butter, is it peanut butter? Sticky toffee pudding, maybe. Or peanut butter. I think yeah, it's peanut butter. Sure. Something yeah. with Marmite mixed in. Yeah, it looks like peanuts Marmite. in there. It's not Marmite. It? No, but it might be. It might be Vegemite. Well, Vegemite is the same thing, isn't it? That's just Australian Marmite. Is it? Is it? Veg- no, it's not. So much like. It's a uh, vegetarian Marmite, isn't it? But yeast, yeast extract is vegetarian, isn't it? There isn't there some kind of beef stuck in there or something? I've got beef no idea. <laughs> I don't know. People either love or hate. Created in the 19th century, versions of this bread can be found throughout the world, but the original can still be found in the UK, where people spread it on crackers and toast or even mix it with hot water. Most people new to this spread can't get past the fact that it looks like brown glue and smells bad. There are even videos people have posted of friends challenging each other to eat this very British I've seen a couple of those videos and they put, they put about half a jar on a piece of toast and then they're like, Ugh. My wife cooks with it. But no one would eat half... You don't spread it like jam all over toast, do you? It's supposed to be thin. Yeah. Mm. Big surprise alert. You've, You've never, never tried, tried it. Marmite. No. <laughs> no. No way. No? no? Have you ever do you, have it, do you dip, your, dip your chicken in it you have every day? <laughs> <laughs> That's some weird to call that, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just, when I was growing up, we never had it in the house. Never. Yeah, but they and, sell it in the store. You're a big boy now. Yeah. Well, I've, I've just, I know. I've just never tried it. I don't know why. Fair enough. Office uh, folks try Marmite. What about Twiglets? Yeah, try Twiglets. Twig- I've got Marmite Twiglets are basically Marmite flavoured. Oh, I like it then. Marmite flavoured <laughs> sticks. Can, can come to me yeah. the other day, she's like, try these. And I looked at them and I was like, the, the nuts. I said, I don't like nuts. Just try them. They taste like Twiglets. So I went, and I tried one. I went, I see. Disgusting. I so, love Twiglets. I've made them myself. I wouldn't keep them. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Nice. Spread. Geordie Shore. If you ever thought the show Jersey Shore was weird, Never then you it. have to watch the no, British version, Geordie Shore. Watch it to know it this program off. focuses on a group of people from the Newcastle area of Northern England <laughs> with their very ridiculous storylines. Viewers spend most... <laughs> I thought you were going to say then, with their very ridiculous accents. <laughs> I thought that's what she was going to say. <laughs> it's classified as the most friendly accent in the UK, the Geordie accent. Bollocks. Is it really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bollocks. That's why call centres have their... Uh, Headquarters based in like in Newcastle, Newcastle. places like yeah, I think oh, Newcastle, okay. Northern Ireland. There's certain yeah. like Belfast. Yeah, there's certain areas where they say the, the accents friendlier, so they use the call centre to get them accents because people appreciate it more. I right? think the Welsh more accent, accent but not the really strong Welsh accent, like the Northern Welsh accent. Sort yeah, of, that, that can be a really nice to Bit listen to. Accent. Have you ever spoke yeah. to the guy that sells us the vans here? No, oh, he's great. Colloid. Right, right. Uh, right. Proper Welsh accent. Strongest Welsh accent I've yeah. ever heard. Yeah. 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 But, but again, great act, great to chat with him. Yeah. You know. Geordie Shaw can fuck off though. It's just, it. it's just yeah. one of those trashy reality TV shows, but they're all just steroid guys and big titted fake lipped skanks. Shot guys. Shots yeah, all, <laughs> all of them. It's just I hate that sort of stuff. I've never seen it. Yeah, me neither. The time watching the cast date each other, stab each other in the back, and make up only to repeat the process over and over. Awful it's fake. fake tans, overly tight clothing, and questionable hairstyles prove that this has to be a classic Jersey Shore spin off. We're just not sure if foreigners will be able to understand what the cast is actually saying thanks to their thick Geordie accents. It's not accents. Thick. Oh, yeah. Since we're on the topic of Geordie accents, why not mention the fact that the UK is full of many weird sounding accents? It's like every region of the UK has a completely distinct accent, yep, yep. a confusing greeting. Around the world, there are a number of ways people greet one another. We're used to such greetings as hello or hi. In the UK, more than one foreigner has been thrown off when a local greets them saying, Fuck You alright? To a North American, <laughs> when someone asks that, we immediately think that we either look sick or have been acting improperly. In fact, in the UK, you alright is just their way of asking, How are you? But it- it's not you alright, it's alright. Yeah, alright, yeah. Alright. Right. And you don't even say the word, you just go, huh? yeah. right. Sometimes right. you're right, right. innit? You might put, yeah. like, a, you're right. But in America, mm-hmm. they say, What's up? What's happening? What's up? Mm. Alright. Mm. Yeah. How's it hanging? Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Don't take it personal, mate. No, no, I'm not. (laughs) Chill out. I knew this was going to be a controversial (laughs) one. I agree. Has no doubt led to some uncomfortable moments for both tourists and visitors. Strange laws. It's just common sense that when you travel to a foreign country, you learn their laws. Head to the UK and you are sure to find a few laws created many years ago that'll make you take notice. For instance, it's illegal to wear a suit of armor into the House of Parliament. (laughs) Once inside Parliament, it's also illegal to die. If you're heading on down to the seaside, be sure not to harm any whales, dolphins, or sturgeon, as every one of those creatures within three miles of the shore belongs to the Queen. Two taps for water. When asked about what weird things stood out in the UK, Reddit users were very vocal about the fact that many places use two separate taps. 
Travelers note that one tap supplies boiling hot water while the other is ice cold. This can make washing your hands a bit challenging That's true. and uncomfortable. <laughs> More than one traveler has complained about having to wash their hands in ice cold water because there is no single faucet as it is so common in North America. I, whenever I have to wash the kids' hands when we go in the house after we've been yeah. in a park or whatever, it is literally rub soap all over your hands and then I'll blast you with the hot tap for three seconds and before it gets too hot before I burn <laughs> yeah. you or put it in the cold it? water yeah. so I kind of with them on that to be fair I don't know where do, do we, we don't have a in the offices here they're all one tap I have all mine yeah. at home are one tap yeah so I've not seen yeah, I think mine are actually yeah. now yeah I've not yeah. seen for ages the two taps I did one in a, in a casino in Las Vegas that was the one tap and for some reason you pushed it down I think to get the water mm. out yeah and I was absolutely hammered, and I went in, tried pulling it up, and I ripped the whole Pulled tap off the sink and threw it up in the air. And the water started going oh, everywhere. No. And it was one of them where loads of people saw me do it, and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shoddy workmanship. Yeah. We figure the people of the UK either lack nerve endings in their hands or they are just a tougher breed of people. Well, that's drinking true. age. On the surface, the drinking laws in the UK sound fairly similar to those in North America. Across the Atlantic, the drinking age is 18. That sounds pretty good to a lot of the kids in North America. However, go to a licensed establishment when you're 16 or 17 and you can also drink as long as you are there with an adult and the drink is served with your meal. In your own house or any other private establishment, the drinking age drops dramatically and anyone over five years of age can legally drink alcohol. <laughs> Sandwiches. I didn't know that. That baby's got... A, yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Because sometimes when, it's, when my son was younger, or both of them were younger, when they were like 17, 16 and all that, yeah. they'd go out and they'd say, all oh, the beer with, with the dinner. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. I mean, in the house, I didn't know it was like over five, five you could yeah. drink it. You yeah, know. I've heard it's a crazy what, rule. So what, in the North America, is it 21? 21. 21. 21. Yeah. Right. yeah. What age did you first have... Like, did your dad ever give you a little beer or, yeah. or something like that? What age would you say was the yeah, first time? Yeah. Nick it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, but stealing it's different because that's on you. But yeah. what age did your parents decide, you know, we're going to let you have a little taste of beer or a little sip of wine? Or For me, it started at Christmas time. Yeah. It started with a shandy, I think. Mm. Yeah, you know, maybe beer with think with a bit of lemonade or a proper shandy, which egg, used to be eggnog. <laughs> eggnog, oh yeah, never remember, yeah. I remember my dad giving me in Cornwall when I was probably about 11, like a little plastic yeah. cup of Boddington's. It's like you're going to give an 11 year old Boddington's, really. Yeah. That's just trying to put me off drinking forever. <laughs> and then, like a glass, like a little sip of wine and stuff. But from then on, realistically, in the UK, I know for my generation, you start drinking when you're about 13. Yeah. I was a bit younger than that. I remember being drunk at my brother's wedding oh, yeah. when I was about 10. <laughs> <laughs> Weddings are different. That's completely yeah. different. But. If you start drinking at 18 when you first go to the pub, you're going to be a liability. You're going to be that state that's puking up outside yeah, the pub. Yeah. You've got to learn to drink before mm. you can get it. Yeah. Really, yeah. I think a few few tinnings in a bag looking for a party, like 14, 15, so I think a few of us used to throw around the air. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and big you know, bottle of cider. Like yeah, or a few tinnings <laughs> End up in the park. Yeah, that's yeah. why you're banned from parks now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice though. Who doesn't love sandwiches? Yes, it is generally agreed that we have the British to thank for our tasty creation, and specifically, John Mentagu, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Of course, adding their own weird twist to the sandwich, travelers to the UK may stumble across a sandwich known as the Chip Buddy. What chip, is this? Chip on. When I went to Thailand, one of the girls there said, I said, all I just want is a chip sandwich, chip butty. She was like, what is it? And they actually put it on the menu. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The chip butty on the menu. Yeah. What, what sort of a lot of people aren't going to get that aren't from the UK is wars have been fought over what that's called whether it's a chip balm a chip butty a chip cob right I think you can get both though can't you really I can classify I can clarify it for you a chip balm Mm -hmm. is on a balm cake yeah a chip butty is on bread bread. yeah Yeah. but then the one on a balm cake is the one that people called a call a chip cob nonsense um, chip balm chip balm I think that, I that's think a huge chip balm thing. you get it from a chippy aren't you yeah it's from well you can have it at home as well but it's, it's, for, it's a oh nor- yeah but I think at home chip balm is a northern thing southerners call it all kind of whatever they shit they yeah. want to down there yeah. I was in Sheffield years ago and I said can I have a chip balm please and they went and served the person next to me and ignored me <laughs> yeah, I'm point, not even joking should, really? you should yeah. pull your mask down got your gun out and, <laughs> and rolled the place yeah I, I, I couldn't believe it and just started serving everyone else in the queue how rude and I was like, what a fucking chip bar. But that was because I said chip bar. Yeah. I had to shut the door. No one's getting out. <laughs> yeah. So you get me the chip bar. I was about 15. I had the hand in the fryer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
chip buddy involves cramming french fries between two slices of bread and adding condiments of your choosing. Definitely not a low carb option. The chip buddy is weird, but also sounds really delicious. Yeah, it's good. We hope you found some of these things about the UK just plain weird. Here's some of the videos <laughs> that we think you might like. Yeah, cheers for that one. So, it would be normally proper chips as well. It wouldn't normally be french fries really, would it? I would guess. It would be chippy chips, chips chippy, really. Chippy yeah, chips. Chip, fat cut chips. Yeah. Yeah, because french fries are thinner. Longer yeah. chippy yeah. chips are like big hunks of potato big that have just thrown in a deep fat fry. Yeah, yeah. more like wedges. That's kind of, yeah. Hungry, you know, that. I know, yeah. I might get a chippy tonight. I'm thinking chippy. That <laughs> yeah. used to be the thing when I was a kid. Friday night was chippy yeah, night because yeah. my dad chippy. got paid. Yeah, well, it's great when it? it's a treat, yeah. on it? Yeah, my dad got yeah. paid so we could all have a chippy. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, it's definitely interesting. I like other people's perception of what's weird in this country. I agree with the Leicestershire yeah. and Leicester and Worcester. Yeah, because Worcester you know? is spelt Worcester, Worcestershire. Worcester. It's yeah. spelt. Yeah. <laughs> It's quite a yeah, few we, things like that. There's loads of weird spellings in, in the oh, English language. Like, Absolutely. Greenolsh. The surname is spelt Greenall. Yeah. Mm. But the LLS at the end of it is pronounced Alsh. What about for some reason? There's a road near us. I think it's, I think it's Avenue Wall Close, but it's Chumley. Chum, well, it, Cholmondeley. It's Chumley. like Cholmondley. It's yeah. like, how would you get Chumley from yeah. that? You know. I mean, because, because we're English, guys. It's, it's weird. weird, isn't it? it's weird. Nice. <laughs> Fucking posh people were called Chumley. One there, and you roll yeah. the marbles in the mouth, you'd be like, yeah, Chumley. <laughs> that's, how it got, that's how that come about. Yeah, then. to make it look better, they probably just put a few more vowels in, didn't they? Yeah. And stuff. <laughs> just stretched it out a bit. But, yeah, um, I, I'd love stuff uh, like that, though. I think it's, it's great. Uh, it's great that it seems their perception, you know, the people's perception of uh, the UK, so. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's not groundbreaking to think you might get a couple of slices of bread in America, get some chips. Put it on it and maybe a bit of ketchup, and you can try a local cuisine. Yeah. Mm. It's that easy. Weirder? What's even weirder with a chip butty or a chip bound cake? What you've got to have? Fish fingers on it. No, you've got a butter. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a butter on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't just have a. You can't just have ketchup on it and things like that. You, oh, can't, you can't have dry bread. No, no, no. no it's no. got to be butter on it's the bread. Got butter on it. Yeah. So it's part of it. I you got to let it sit for mm. a bit so the butter melts into the chips as well. Absolutely. Probably heart attack. I don't know if this makes me a great dad or a terrible dad, but. The other day when I was making Oscar's lunch for school in the morning, I ran out of butter, completely forgot. And uh, I spread hummus on his sandwiches instead of butter. So he had hummus and ham sandwiches for school the next day. Probably Probably like them. That's, that's, I don't know, because I didn't ask him to be yeah. fair. He ate them. Right. Right. It's fine. But I ran out of butter and it's like, oh, fuck, what can I do? And hummus and ham sandwiches, I think that's pretty good. He probably would have preferred them. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. You, you ever try hummus, that. Mike? <laughs> I don't think Have you never no. had hummus? I don't think so, no. Jesus, I eat, we so, make our I eat own. a lot of hummus. Oh, yeah. really? makes our own hummus. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I love yeah. chickpeas. Chickpeas, yeah. Yeah. I'll bring some in them. They might like it. It's like 50p from us. <laughs> exactly. Oh, is it? No, <laughs> no, buy your own. Buy that marmite. Oh, I thought homemade. Yeah, I thought it might be like a bit more special, you know. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, come to the UK, try some of our weird things and hang out in some of our weird named places. Yeah. Or if you're from the UK, you're weird. Just like us. <laughs> There's a lot of people commenting on that. Uh, they're the worst places to live in the UK. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The comments of, like, I usually go on the YouTube Studio app on my phone, but it's gone sketchy recently, so I can't reply to that many comments mm. and I can't see comments. So I'm really behind. Mm, I'm going to yeah. try and catch up on my PC tonight on my laptop. The funny thing was about that, a lot of people are saying, my town must be in it. <laughs> We've got in the top like a town. proud, proud of your <laughs> yeah. shit all. Yeah, yeah. We're that, there. That's the most English thing. Yeah. Isn't it? Just rooting for your yeah. town. You just to want be to be on the list. There was, only, there, was only one, there was only one place on there where I thought, I mean, someone pointed out Middlesbrough probably should have been on there. And I was like, show us your monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, the, the, the only one I thought would have been on there that wasn't was Stoke. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised to see Stoke. No offence, but. <laughs> to be fair, there was nothing really in the Midlands, was there? Not really. Because really, parts no. of Birmingham that are a fucking dump. Yeah. Briley yeah. Hill. I shouldn't say that's when my son lives. <laughs> <laughs> Briley Hill. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, anyway, hope you guys like that too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.